Hi everyone, so I am seven weeks pregnant today. My has time flown by so fast. It's too fast. Um, I'm gonna get right into this video so to make it not as long and this room is quite chilly so I want to go back to the heating system. Um, as for weight gain, I gained another pound. So I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight and I was hoping it would take me a little bit longer but apparently it didn't. Uh, I blame all the midnight snacks I've been doing, so yeah, I need to like watch that because I don't want to like have gained 12 pounds in just the first trimester. That could be good. Um, as for symptoms, I'm still pretty exhausted all the time. I try to go to bed a little bit earlier, but I'm just not worth anything in the mornings. And if I can, I'll sleep in like noon or something. And I notice if I do like an activity like that's intense, like grocery shopping or put up a Christmas tree, I afterwards I'm just pff, exhausted. Not fun. Um, I also still have pregnancy brain. I can't remember a darn thing. That's why I keep looking over to my right so I can see what I wrote down. Um, <laughs> new symptoms are back pain, especially when I like slept for a long time, like. In the mornings, I wake up and I'm like, oh my god, my back. It just hurts and I have trouble getting out of bed. First of all, because my uh, abdominal muscles are still like feeling sore. Sore. And um, so I have to like get on my side and then like push myself up while I'm sideways so I can like, immediately sit. Instead of just lying down on your back and just getting right up because I can't do that movement anymore. And um, my back just hurts so bad when I do that. But it's like the only way I can get out of bed right now. Um, other than that, I, I don't know why my back hurts. I just think because I have a bad back. I, I can't remember a year where I haven't had back issues. So it was to be expected. The other symptom that I have is... Um, I just saw it on the paper. I don't remember it. Heartburn. And I think that's due to midnight snacking as well. Because I like snack something and like... 15 minutes or 20 minutes later, I'll go to bed and then I'll lie down and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm having heartburn. So, yeah, I think I kind of doing that on my own, but mm, I hate it. It's not to the point where it's really bad. I, ha I used to have really, really bad heartburn when I was like 20 pounds heavier. Um, so that's kind of the reason why I don't want to gain that much weight because I don't want to have heartburn for like five months in a row and not be able to do anything about it. So that's that. As for cravings, and probably the main reason why I have heartburn and weight gain, is chicken fries. I don't know if you have them where you live, but it's kind of like chicken nuggets, but shaped as french fries. And we put them in the oven here, not in the, in the, in the fryer, because it's healthier that way, a little bit healthier. But they're so good. I think I ate like a hundred of them this week, it's just so bad. But they're so good. That's like the first time I, I, I'm like in love with this food. Like I, I'm, like, oh, I'm getting so hungry just thinking about it and I so badly want to taste it, but we don't have it anymore. Mm, the stores are closed too. Mm. Okay, so yeah, definitely chicken fries are like my craving. As for aversion, it's nothing new except peanut butter. That smell, I've never liked the smell of peanut butter, but right now it, it will literally make me gag. And the worst part is one of my clients always have a peanut butter sandwich every single time. She always has, and I, I never really liked that smell. I was always like cutting up her sandwiches for her like that. But right now I, I can't even cut her sandwiches. It's just so horrible. So yeah, <laughs> we need to figure out a way how I can still feed her. Um, as for sleep, yeah, I just mentioned I don't like early mornings. I do have a, st I, I do sleep pretty good if I'm if I'm sleeping I have a good sleep if I don't sleep if yeah if, I, if I'm having a rough night I have to get up like three or four times because I'm hungry then I'm nauseous because I'm hungry or I have to pee or I'm just so uncomfortable because I'm, I'm laying in bed or because I have a bad dream and the bad dream just I just soaks through my entire shirt I don't I don't know like I'm sweating so badly when I have a bad dream these days I pretty much have to change my entire pajama outfit and then I put um, a towel on my spot of the bed so I don't have to like lay into like, like doughy, clumsy sheets. It's just ugh. So, but other than that, I'm just living pretty well. So, um, yeah. 
Uh, as for baby this week, baby's growing. Yay! It's the size of a blueberry, and we don't have. I used to have blueberries like every single time we went to the grocery store. I would buy blueberries, except for this week. So I can't show you the size of blueberry. I'm sorry. Um, the baby is developing arms and legs, and I need to look over. Oh yeah, and the tailbone, tailbone is getting shorter, or it's not getting shorter. It stopped growing, and the ba since the baby is still growing your tailbone is getting shorter so yeah um and the most awesome thing about baby's growth is that i get animated videos or like 3d videos every single week so every time i turn an extra week i get a video in my email that i can click and i can see like the baby in like all sorts of 3d at that just at that stage you know and I'm, I might think about like filming it because I can't upload it straight to YouTube. Um, but it's just so awesome. And I, I've tried to find it on YouTube and it's not because it's like from the Mothers to Mothers um, like company organization thing. So they don't have it on YouTube already. So I might try to like add in a, a film later on this week somewhere. Because it's just so awesome, and every time I see one of those videos, I like cry. It's just so cute. Um, as for thoughts on gender, still boy. And what I miss, I've been thinking long and hard about it, and I don't miss a darn thing right now. Not today. Not this week. I don't know. Not anything in particular. What am I looking forward to? Oh my god, the ultrasound is getting so close. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I've been counting down the days next week, Wednesday, we have to finally see the, uh, the baby. And um, I'm on this like forum of uh, Dutch people that are all pretty much due in July 2013. And um, they pretty much all had an ultrasound already. So I've seen so many ultrasounds come by. And I'm like, I want one too. So yay. Uh, best moment of this week was definitely going shopping with Rob. Um, we spent the entire Wednesday pretty much just shopping everything. Um, we just needed to have some, like some utility stuff, you know, and some groceries. And we decided to go and shop for the presents we were gonna give our parents on Christmas to announce our pregnancy. And uh, just look for ideas. So we bought like one of those for on your car, which by the way, we don't like those little um, window stickers, I guess, with baby on board, like the little signs of baby on board for on your car. We don't like it if people have them on their car, we're just gonna use them in like photo shoots. And we might um, give one to our parent, one of our parents, because he has to arrange three gifts, because we have my parents, like my, my dad and my stepmom. We have my brother my, and my sister, who will also be on the same like moment. Then we have his his father and his stepmom, and then we have his mother. So we need to find like for everybody a little bit, so we can all give presents out, and they'll be like, "Ah, oh, you're pregnant." Ah, um, which we're hoping for that that will be their reaction. Uh, for my mother-in-law, she always said, "Oh my God, I love babysitting babies, and you all let me babysit your baby, right?" Like stuff like that. So we're making her um, like a first aid kit, like um. Um, in Dutch, the, the word for first aid kit is um, the EHBO, and um, it's like first help with emergencies, I guess. But the letters in, in Dutch, you can use them as like first help by ba with babysitting. So we're gonna make, um, we're gonna buy the first aid kit and then just put, like, yeah, it's pretty much the last word he has to like stick her over it and just write a uh, babysitting on it. So it's gonna be awesome. We bought a, a little onesie and we bought a card, like no we bought three cards. We bought a card for it says a little miracle for Rob's mother and then we have two cards that says grandma and grandpa which are for his father and stepmom and for my father and stepmom. So awesome. And then uh, we don't know really know what we're gonna give my father uh, and his wife and my sister or my brother, and we don't know what we're gonna give his uh, father and stepmom. So if you have any ideas on how to announce the pregnancy, then just put your comments down below because I need inspiration. 
Other than that, I have nothing to update you guys on. If I talk really fast, it's because I don't want to make this in a long video again. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a belly shot. I have, if you haven't, if you don't have me on Facebook yet, I have the most ridiculous comparison photo of my fifth week and my sixth week. It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. So, this is just short. One shirt up and one shirt down. Side, front, other side. I'm wearing my sweats, so I'm so sorry. Or I'm actually wearing Rob's sweats. This is the belly from the front side. Front, and yeah, like that because it's a little bit. And the other side. I so feel like I'm like getting this. It's just getting like, I don't know. It looks very different, and when Rob said that last week, I didn't believe him until I compared my fifth week photo and my sixth week photo together. And if you want to see that, it's on my Facebook. Let's see where we are at right now. Yeah, we still say 34. Last time my video was so blurry, 34. Probably, yeah, it's a little up and right. It's probably maybe a little, yeah, 34, I would say. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see this week compared to next week because apparently you cannot see it on the mirror. <laughs> like, you can't see it looking in the mirror. Okay, that's it for this week, and I will talk to you guys another time. Bye.